breaking news with a man who's running for governor of Illinois, Bruce Rauner, Republican candidate for governor. Good morning, sir. Good morning, John. Good morning, Lauren. Great to be with you this morning. Good to have you here. I bet you you labored on Labor Day. So uh, I, uh, guess we, here. we did well, marching in parades and <laughs> shaking a lot of hands and doing a lot of interviews. It was fun. So, what is news coming out of the Rounder campaign? You know what? Big day today. We are launching the petition drive as of 8.30 this morning to put term limits on the ballot in November of 2014 to change Springfield fundamentally so all legislators serve eight years and then they're out. What, no? made, what made you decide to announce this today? Oh, this is a great uh, day to kick it off. We need to raise um, a lot of money to get this on the ballot. We also need to get over 300,000 signatures to get on the ballot. So it's a lot of work. We needed to get this done by May. So now's a great time to kick it all off. Why does, why does the, why do the, does the political class make it so difficult for referendums in this state? because they love the status quo. They love their power and they don't want change. This is big change. This is really going to shake up Springfield. So Mike Madigan would not be eligible to, to be reelected uh, leader of the entire state of Madiganistan. <laughs> no, that's, that's right. right. All, all legislators, we believe, I firmly believe, should be public servants, not career politicians where they can accumulate massive power, make millions of dollars on the side from their cronies and their special deals, People should serve the public for eight years and then leave and go back into the private sector. And um, the voters that you speak to, do they know that these legislators get six-figure pensions? <laughs> <laughs> you know, some do, some don't. Right. The tragedy is our, our legislators are a core part of the problem. They all take, or the, the vast majority take government union money from the bosses down there, and they're all in the pensions. So you wonder why the pensions don't get fixed. They're all part of the system. It's all broken and corrupt. There's another major announcement here that you want to make today. Yeah, no, that's right. We have a comprehensive set of reforms. We are putting term limits on all the legislature. And by the way, as governor, I will push for legislation to term limit me and all future governors. That can't be done through referendum. That has to be done in the legislature. But I'm sure the legislative bosses would, would love to return the favor when we term limit them. I'm sure they'd love to return that favor, so which that, I will support. So that would be an override of governor's veto from a three-fifths majority to a two-thirds yeah, majority? Yeah, so there are, two other, there are two other key elements to this um, mm -hmm. uh, referendum that we're going to pass. First is term limits, but in addition, we are going to change the structure of the legislature and change its process. Process. One, we're going to change the number of votes required to override a governor's veto. Today in Illinois, it's 60% of the legislature can vote for it to overturn a veto. We're going to change that to two-thirds, which so it's harder to overturn a governor's veto going forward. Now, we think that's good government practice. That's in line with a vast, vast majority of states and also the way it's done uh, in Congress. We think that's better balance of power and checks and balances on the government and its processes. So that's a key part of this. So it gives the governor more power. Uh, it does. It restores the balance of power because today the legislature has incredible power, as we've learned the hard way, yeah. and this res restores that balance of power. And then the other thing we're doing is we're going to change the structure of the legislature. We're going to reduce its size, not dramatically, but modestly. We're going to reduce the number of senators, uh, Senate districts, from 59 down to 41. And we're also going to increase, very modestly, the number of House districts from 118 to 123. Now, we're doing that for a couple reasons. Number one, it does save money and save pension and staff and all that. It saves some money, but not a lot. What it really does is make future legislative races more competitive. Because what we're proposing is to put three House districts inside every Senate district so that when a... Um, a legislator wants to run for another office instead of um, already having half the district with them and having an incumbent advantage, they're now only one third of the district do they have an advantage. And it'll make races more competitive, make it easier to beat incumbents by fresh new people, fresh ideas many, coming in. Many years ago, um, a populist gadfly named Pat Quinn supported an idea to cut the size of the legislature. And what that ended up happening, the cutback amendment, ended up happening is it basically created Mike Madigan as undisputed boss because it shrank the size of the legislature. Um, you, you created the four tops, not you, but the four tops were created, the four legislative leaders had, had more power. What would this do? Would this lessen the power? Would this dilute it? 
Oh, the, the term limits dramatically lessens the No, power. I'm talking about this plan. Oh, the sign to reduce the size of the legislature. Reduce and change the... The mix from, the mix from today it's two to one, two um, um, representatives to every one senator. We're going to take it to three representatives to one Senate. And we think that that lessens the, the, the boss's power. We think that that makes the, um, each race more competitive going forward. Bruce, have you picked a running mate yet? Uh, we have not. We're that's in process, and that'll be come in the coming weeks. We'll announce that here on our show. Right? Come <laughs> on, let us know. Happy to do that. The uh, the term limit thing. Um, how's that working out for you politically? Well, you know, it, it, it's a very strongly supported initiative by all voters. The vast majority of voters in Illinois strongly support term limits. Both parties, but overwhelming majority of Republicans support term limits. Over um, over. Overwhelming majority of Democrats support term limits. In fact, I'm reaching out. I want to make this a bipartisan issue. This morning, I'm reaching out to Governor Pat Quinn and to Bill Daley. Both of them have said in the past that they support term limits, and I would love them to join this initiative, co-chair the initiative. We formed a committee. Uh, it's called the Committee for Legislative Reform and Term Limits. We're going to be raising money because this will be expensive to get on the ballot, and we're going to uh, have extensive volunteers working around the state getting signatures on the, to get the petition signed. And I, I'm eager to have them join the initiative so we can make this truly bipartisan and transform Springfield. It's an exciting time. Um, Dan Rutherford announced Attorney Steve Kim and Senator Kirk Dillard, Peg State Representative Jill Tracy. What are you looking for then and who your running mate's going to be? Uh, for my lieutenant governor, I want a superstar. I want somebody who has been a leader, who drives results, and who's capable of being governor someday. That's what really matters. And we've got some wonderful folks that we've uh, interviewed and we're evaluating in our process.